cycling back into Matsu Sierra and uh, I'm using my phone just to guide me to the Imperial War Bunker and uh, it's because I don't have it loaded into my map. So I'm pretty excited to see this site. Um, also have mixed feelings about it and I'll share those when we get there. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, this is, you know, kind of, a, you know, the whole theme of my channel is bikes and castles and this is kind of like a uh, 20th century version of a castle. You know, because I have an objective here of seeing this site, I'm just bypassing so much. I'm gonna have to come back here and just cycle through these villages. Um, it's worth giving a little bit of attention to. It's something else, it's so pretty. And I think we are here. Getting close at least. So I just made it and um, just got to the site. And this is the um, war bunker here. And um, I'm going to take a look inside. Not much to see on the outside, just a hole in the wall, hole in the ground. But I guess that's what a bunker would be. All right, so I'm masked up and I've got my helmet on. And I'm ready to explore this World War II bunker. Let's take a look. And here we are going in. Ooh. Tell right away it's freezing in here. Sweating from the climb. Gonna catch pneumonia. Hey, but I got a mask. I see why they get you to wear a helmet. This roof is low. Insane, man. I feel like I'm having to duck as I walk. And here we're at the end of how far you can walk in these tunnels. And I've been walking probably for 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, it just keeps going. It keeps going. You got gated off here, gated off here, gated off here. And these tunnels just cut in through the rock. And um, I think it's seven kilometers of tunnels. I'll have to go back and check that. But this is crazy, man. This is nuts. And uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute when I get out of these tunnels. But it's, um, you know, it's just modern day castles, isn't it? After walking around for about 20 minutes in the dark, finally back to sunlight. Emerging out of the World War II caves, the bunkers, the modern day castles. And I'm really happy to see this. Um, you know, this gives you the background. And it's talking about how towards the end of the war, um, the Imperial Army Headquarters, military authorities uh, were planning to move the Imperial family, uh, Central Telephone, Broadcasting Company, government agencies into these um, in, into these tunnels because you know, fear of American uh, landing on the uh, on the, uh, the islands. Um, but I was really happy to see this talking about the the Korean slave labor and about how many Koreans died in explosions and cave-ins and forced to work and. You know, it says 6,000 Koreans. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. That's a, that's a positive step to give, give, you know, remembrance to these individuals who died who are being forced to, to build these caves. And just here's a map of, of where I just walked. And, you know, I, I just took one of these tunnels all the way to the end and back in this direction here. But you can see what it would have been as a grid and uh, would have, you know, been very big, very large. One thing that I really liked about this is that it's free. Okay, so that's good. And um, I don't like people making money off of World War II things. Um, when I was in Austria and lived there, um, Eagles, uh, Hitler's Eagle's Nest was just right next to where I lived. And I mean, I went several times to visit, but it's, uh, it's an eerie feeling and you feel kind of crummy paying money to go visit this, this psychopath's house. So, um, you know, I, I'm happy that this is free and we're not making money off of it. And uh, I do think the history should be remembered, but just have a weird feeling about it. But I'm very happy to see you've given um, the credit. I don't know credit, just for giving remembrance to the Koreans who lost their lives and who, who were forced to, to build this. So, um, yeah, if you're in Japan, if you're in Nagano, if you're in this area, I encourage you to come visit it. Not, it's just holes in the ground, but it's just what it represents. And um, it's good to remember just how violent of a species we are and, and uh, just a little perspective on things in life.